Strength and honor. Strength and honor. Strength and honor. At my signal, unleash hell. What up y'all, it's Devin with Up TV, aka The Doc Connector, and I wanted to make today's video to really help those true followers of Christ out there who really want to build a relationship with the Most High. For those who are lost in this world and they really don't know where to go or who to talk to, but even if you believe that you are a seasoned follower of Christ, and even if you already did this before, then you will know why it's important that the assignment that I'm about to give y'all today, that you do it again, even if you already did it before. For. because what I want to help some people do or even remember to do is I want to help people unlock the mysteries of life I want people to understand how to survive in this world as a follower of Christ and it all starts with the fear of the Lord what I want to help people find today will be more valuable than all of the riches of this earth all the gold and diamonds of this earth and that is something we like to call Hok Ma, which is an attribute of God. Hok Ma is an invisible force that we all have access to. For those who don't know, Hok Ma is the Hebrew word for wisdom. And the more I talk to friends and family, and I see some of these comments on YouTube and on other social sites, it's clear that a lot of people are walking in this world without any hokma. Proverbs chapter 1 verses 20 through 33 says, Wisdom cries aloud in the streets, in the markets she raises her voice, at the head of the noisy streets she cries out, at the entrance of the city gates she speaks. Are y'all following along with me right now? God is speaking. Hoke Ma is in the streets. Hoke Ma is at your local Walmart. Hoke Ma is everywhere you go and through all the noise, through all the hustle and bustle, Hoke Ma is crying out to you. She is raising her voice, but y'all not hearing. Some of y'all hear, but don't listen. Some of y'all listen, but don't apply Hoke Ma to your life. How long, oh simple ones, will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? You know, we live in a I know it all world. We live in a world where it's cool to be a dummy, but uncool to be educated. So these I know it all people and these dummies hate knowledge. They ain't trying to learn nothing. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 2 says, a fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. In today's world, we are dealing with a bunch of fools who don't care for the truth. They don't care for getting more wisdom and knowledge. They only care about expressing their opinion. They would kill the truth if it meant that they could make themselves seem right. But picking back up, at Proverbs chapter 1 verse 23 it says if you turn at my reproof behold I will pour out my spirit to you I will make my words known to you because I have called and you have refused to listen have stretched out my hand and no one has heeded because you have ignored all my counsel and would have none of my reproof I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strikes you. When terror strikes you like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when disaster and anguish come upon you, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. But wait a minute, it gets better. It says, they will seek me diligently but will not find me because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, would have none of my counsel and despised all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their way and have their fill of their own devices. For the simple are killed by their turning away and the complacency of fools destroys them. But whoever listens to me will dwell secure and will be at ease without dread or disaster. You see, there are people out here 
who are going through different trials and tribulations. And every day they get up, instead of thanking God for the greatest gift he can give them, which is their life, they get up and blame God because of their trials and tribulations. But the problem is not that God is not helping them or willing to help them. It's not that the answers to their problems don't exist. The problem is simply the fact that these people are not seeking after knowledge and wisdom. And so calamity strikes in their life over and over again because they have no hope. Ma, they have no true fear of the Lord. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. They reject knowledge no matter who tries to give it to them. Instead of turning to God and seeking his word, they are blasphemous towards the Lord and have no true knowledge of his word. So they walk around treating God like a genie. And when their wishes are not granted, when they want them to be granted, they blame God. They won't study his word. They are not praying regularly. They are in no way, shape or form trying to build a relationship with him or turn away from their sins. And yet they want God to continually bless them. Is anybody getting how this is a backwards mentality to have? And because I already know somebody is going to ask in the comments, why should I fear God? Let me explain real quick. The fear of God is not the same as the fear of a tyrant or dictator. The fear of God is absolute reverence and awe for an almighty God, the creator of all things. The real question we should be asking ourselves is why shouldn't we fear the almighty God, the most high Yahweh himself? But nobody wants to hear his word because people have been taught and programmed to feel judged whenever they hear words of wisdom. If I'm being honest with y'all, there have been times when I read the Bible and I felt like I was being judged. And then I had to check myself because we always have to remind ourselves that the hokma that we are gaining from scripture may come off or sound like judgment, but they are only wise words meant to help you, meant to uplift you, meant to prevent calamity from striking in your life. But because we live in a I know it all world, because we live in a world where people are taught that it is okay to be offended by any and everything, when you try to teach your friends and family the truth, when you try to give them scriptures that will help them in their life, they take it as if you're passing judgment against them. This is simply because fools despise wisdom. They don't know the difference between hate and love. God is nothing but love, but if you share the word of God with some of these foolish people, they will look at you as if you're trying to be a hater. They look at you like you're walking around trying to be holier than thou when you're not. That is why the scriptures teach us in Proverbs chapter 9 verse 8, do not rebuke a mocker or he will hate you. Rebuke a wise man and he will love you. If you try to give a fool wise words, he will do nothing but mock you. So the best thing that we can do is gracefully end the conversation, walk away, and pray every day for these individuals. This is something that just recently happened to me, and as much as my ego wanted to keep the conversation going to prove that every bit of their logic was wrong, it was the wisdom that I gained from the Most High that told me to just end the conversation and walk away. Ironically, once I did that, I went to check my Instagram, and the first post that I seen was a post by Brandon T. Jackson. Now, a lot of y'all might not know who Brandon T. Jackson is, but just just real quick, he played in movies like Percy Jackson, The Lottery Ticket with Bow Wow. He also played in Big Mama's House 3 and even put on that dress, which he has stated that he highly regrets and he has spent most of his recent years serving the Most High in speaking against Hollywood and the celebrities that worship false gods like Drake. I did a video on that a while ago. But I want to play this clip real quick before I give y'all your assignment. It is a short clip, but it is 100% the truth and is exactly what I'm talking about in this video. Anytime you speak truth and love, this generation takes it as hate. When you're trying to save people's lives and restore this realm and and bring that world peace that we're all looking for. 
generation, man. Don't don't know the difference between love, truth, hate, law. So sad. I still love y'all though. Everything Brandon T. Jackson said, I couldn't have said it better myself. So today's assignment is a simple one, but after you do this assignment, you will no longer be a simple one. I want everybody to read the whole book of Proverbs. I don't care if you listen on Audible. I don't care if you find a YouTube video with the whole book of Proverbs. I don't care if you open your Bible and physically read. Me personally, I like to do both. I like to listen and read along with my highlighter right next to me so I can highlight the verses that stick out to me the most. But if you read the book of Proverbs, it is a life changing book the wisdom the hokmah that you receive from reading proverbs will transform a fool into a wise man or woman the wisdom that you gain from the book of proverbs will make a wise man even more wiser i really don't want no excuses on this assignment this is the first assignment i've ever given my subscribers on this channel the audible version is only about an hour and a half long there are 24 hours in a day we have an hour and a half of our lives to gain as much knowledge and wisdom as possible so there is no excuse for this one read the book of proverbs Get that knowledge and that wisdom because it is literally the best thing you can do for yourself in these dark and unfortunate times. But what are your thoughts? Sound off in the comment section and let me know. And because there will be no Up TV without viewers like you, I would like to give a special shout out to anybody who has donated or supported the channel in any type of way. This is Devin with Up TV. I love you, family. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit that bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Give your life to Yeshua. And I'll holla at y'all later. Peace. Thank you for watching Up TV. If you like this video and would love to see more, check out these great videos here. And don't forget to subscribe to Up TV and Up TV 2 for even more great videos.